And so just so. I want to see. I want to see too. The Triforce Podcast 100th episode. Well, Dark Side's coming to town. I'm popping my Pennsylvania cherry. You see a little cape? Yeah. Just the tip. Wanda doesn't know. Like Scotty? Yeah. Are you going to sing that one for us? <laughs> I don't want to know where I poked. It has like a and it has virginity the... attached to it, so. We are live. Oh, hey. <laughs> Freshly live. Freshly live. Freshly live. So, slinking off the urine there. Um, welcome, Wall Jangers. This is Per Jangers and Wall Hangers Media Network's 100th episode. I mean, we could have like you at least Zero. the members of yeah. the podcast. Yay! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hi, um, I'm in the bottom right. Yeah. There we go. Big brother. And you see Chris down here, right below me. Um, no joke. There. <laughs> <laughs> no joke needed. It just makes itself. Yeah. <laughs> like right I of here? course yeah. am uh, Matthew yeah. Bugrell, the Matt Man. Kelly is poking the old man, Christopher Bristow. Kelly Collins back for a podcast on the live end. Our and Kelly! It's not, no. Nope. Old man. Our Kelly. R. <laughs> our Kelly. Oh. Our. It's not, it's not our Kelly. It's yeah, it's our, our Kelly. Kelly. Okay. Like, I not was, our. It's really our. Not, I, I was hate about that to say, nickname. It's about to start getting real golden showered in here. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Collins, Twitchy Wilson is in the building, as well as Big Brother back there mining, uh, the, uh, mining the cam. And uh, we have a, a whole staff on here for the 100th podcast. And our gracious host, Mark. Um, game and DVD exchange. While we love coming here, you guys have a bit of an event coming up here. We do. I'll actually hold it up. Here. Well, there we go. Kelly can hold that up since he's in the center, and I have the old man's big ass head right there. <laughs> Delco Mania. Um, April eighteenth, ten to ten. Uh, you got the ACPW Pro Wrestling event. Yes. Seven p.m. Huge wrestling event. Yep. Start at seven. Green All right. There we go. As you guys can see, we can't. You just go ahead and <laughs> click that like button there and make sure you tell them you're coming right there. Subscribe. We will actually be coming live there at yep. the event as well as another camera guy. Super excited to have We're going to almost look like a legitimate yeah. well, podcast. I mean, you, yeah. you are legitimate now. This yeah, is the 100th episode. It this is. is true. I think that marks it, the legitimacy. We especially, we started. Old man and Mark I did is this. Marking the. I'm stuff. marking. We started with just Triforce, and now it's it's yeah. already blossomed in the many, legitimate. Yeah. Many of many podcasts. It's official. We've been deigned <laughs> yeah. legitimate mm-hmm. podcast. We've been yeah. ordained. Okay. The king of Delco <laughs> has dinged his you. His ears are being cut. Yeah. And, yeah. And as yeah. the ordaining is being completed. But yeah. um, you guys, have, I'm it's really looking date. forward to this podcast, especially cosplay. Cosplayers usually come out in force, and they're so creative. I've got some interesting. Interesting ones coming, so excellent. Can't wait to and then a live band. Yeah, we've got Long live hope. bands playing. Uh, we just booked another one that's not even on there. So as much as this poster has stuff included, there's so much more showing up to this. Well, event. You can't put everything on a poster. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, especially when you got to print them out like is eight there, to twelve uh, weeks before the event. That, uh, is there anywhere that they can go to get the information? Uh, yes, our Facebook page, Delco Mania, and also um, all right on our website, DelcoMania.com. If you're looking for ticket information or anything like that. It's going to be family friendly. We're super excited for it. So. I'll have to throw up the link on uh, pjnwh.com. Yeah. And uh, you can always go to pjnwh.com to find all exactly. of our podcasts. Yep. Um, I'm really looking forward to Delco Mania. It's the first Comic Con. Believe it or not, it's my first con. What? First con. Never been to a con. Well, well, no, I've been to, I've been to uh, Comic Con in Delaware. I like okay, it. the first Delaware first uh, so Comic Con. That's Pennsylvania. Where, yeah, my okay. first Pennsylvania. I'm popping my Pennsylvania That's cherry. <laughs> That might be the title of the ben podcast. Franklin that is the title Don't put it past me. <laughs> Remember when Ben Franklin? We already right deemed it. Title of the podcast. Well, uh, last week's podcast you'll find on pjnwh.com, which is number 99. Triforce podcast. Go with the graphics. Yeah, you don't have to hold that the whole time. <laughs> He's getting good at it. He is getting good. He's my Vanna, <laughs> he's my Vanna White. Yeah. Um, and then you... Sundays you can you tune in and you'll see me and Big Brother up there doing lug nuts. Last week's was, oh my God, is that Rutledge Wood? <laughs> We went to the Philadelphia Auto Show, and we did a piece on convertibles. And unbeknownst to us, you see it on big on the big on the green screen. It's just this guy that looked like Rutledge Wood, and his I kid. I, saw, I thought I saw Tanner at the Target. 
He may have Top Gear on the brain. Do you have sure. a future episode focusing on station wagons, though? That is, you know, um, that's a great idea. Shaggy we, wagons. We're, 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 we're talking to our camera the guy. Celebrity. Our cameras. <laughs> the yeah, celebrity. we're talking about Shaggy doing that. celebrity wagons with okay. the paneling. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I mean, if you know Child somebody, Game Boy in the back, I would definitely man. be with game. With the third seat, you pull up. Yep. <laughs> I'd definitely be game to do a podcast yeah. or a live station YouTube wagons. Uh, video. My family was that family that had a Woody. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The, like the, wood, the wood panels are even on the inside. It's pretty uh, cool. Classic. <laughs> and then, of course, Mace Windu, car salesman, power ballad needed. So you guys can check us out there. We go live on the Triforce podcast every Monday night. And then uh, this week is kind of an impromptu podcast, but I do have some news. And I uh, usually have some kind of witty, cheeky thing to say yes. ahead of time, but I did not plan that out. One of my partners just walked in the door as well. Nice. Evelyn. Of human made products. There she is. Hi, Miss Evelyn. Hey, what's up, guys? Unlike last time, we don't have the camera going that way. Yes, we yes. We have the news up this time. We're being right. all professional. But um, with uh, this first bit of news, which there is a trailer, if you if you go down I'll to it. Down and I'll yeah, it normally we have a gigantic 52 inch screen where we can watch the trailer. But. Okay. Um, DC revealed their trailer for Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Uh, this spr- it's releasing this spring. Okay. So it's coming rather soon. We're animated? Is it yeah, animated? Yeah, animated. Man. I love their animated they're, stuff. And they're, they're promising live action. It's going to be the largest stuff. superhero yeah. cast of any DC movie. Movie. Okay. Yeah, any of the DC movies. Okay. Any, they already confirmed Superman, Constantine, the Bat Family. I saw wow. Batwoman, Batgirl. Uh, Robin, I'm assuming uh, Damian Wayne and Robin, mm. and because you saw like Red Hood, you see the whole Bat Family, okay. uh, all the regular Justice Leaguers, Wonder Woman, Superman, Bat, you know, uh, Cyborg, <laughs> yeah. And uh, the premise for this one is essentially, uh, well, Dark Side's coming to town. I could probably do a Bruce Springsteen impersonation if my voice was feeling a little Please bit better. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'd probably sound spot on with Bruce right now, uh, but I'll spare your ears with that one. Just imagine Dark Side is coming to town. Yeah. Dark Side is coming to town, <laughs> and that's how it would go. That's, um, my ears are preemptively bleeding. <laughs> Thank you. Yet? We just lost all. We just oh. lost all of our listeners. <laughs> the one, one, list, oh, the one person one watching one already just pops that. The three in Bangladesh one already kicked off. One sixty-five. <laughs> one sixty-five in New Jersey's like, yay! <laughs> you, at least I got one person. Yeah. 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 So essentially, Dark Side's army is coming to town to uh, with Doomsday Parademons invading and kicking ass and taking names. Might be the other way around. I feel like the he first way. If he doesn't yeah. roll with parademons, he's, he's yeah. not really Can dark side. He's more like light side. side. Just yeah. <laughs> in the trailer, they're, they're just kind of really cartooning him up. Okay. Kind of scrunching him and oh, making boy. him wider. Okay. So it's just, yeah, you can say that's, you can say it's dark side. Yeah. Well, just like, like different versions that X-Men movie, movie had. Yeah. Uh, Apocalypse. Apocalypse. And it's yeah. just like, mm-hmm. you know what you're what yeah, you going it's with? Oscar Isaac. We know you. Yeah, we see yeah. you in there. <sighs> but the next one actually caught me by uh, next story caught me by storm or uh, confusion rather. I'm not sure how Are I feel you about confused? this. I am confused. Okay. I don't know where I am. I thought I was in my living room, and now I'm all of a sudden I'm in, I'm in a store. Yeah. Um, Matt Reeves took to Twitter. Can you go over there and just take his hat? <laughs> Marijuana to fix the number. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt Reeves takes to Twitter to reveal a new Batmobile. Did you yeah. see the new Batmobile? Uh-huh. We're showing it to the viewers up there. You don't get to see it. Uh, um, seen it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they got Looks like a car. Well, yeah, they have three <laughs> sh- Now they have the three shots. Is, is yeah, they car. have three shots. They have the side shot with you see a little cape. Yeah. Just the tip. And go, go to the other shot. I'm gonna say it again. The front end up. Or no, yeah, there you go. That's the top down. And it kind of looks very trans am to me. Yep. It looks like, but then go to the bottom one. This that's the one we saw. That one. How is that an effective engine if you're a superhero? Any bad guy can just come up behind you and shoot your shoot your engine. Yeah. Boom. How'd he die? Well, somebody shot a 50 cal through the block, and then uh, he ended up swerving into a bus. Ended up killing a whole Boy Scout troop. I'm gonna, I'm Batman did it, not go out a hero. I said it before. I say it again. I'm sorry. I'm still on it. Pattison. As Batman, I still, I still can't. I don't like it. I still. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I, I have to. I'm gonna have to live with it. I know. 
Where do you, where do you stand can't. on it? We saw a bat cycle. We saw a, a Batmobile. Be. We saw a bat suit. And now we see a little bit of the cape. Now, from what I've heard is that it is supposed to be early Batman. Yeah. So, like, development Batman. But I think the car looks goofy. He caught a couple purse snatchers. Yeah, you know. I, I think I'll be got honest too with mixed you. Up with Fast and Furious. Like, you could have literally a mile, quarter mile I, of time. I was gonna say, why even do the? I know that the Batmobile's like iconic, but like maybe it's not his first vehicle. Maybe he rolls with a motorcycle this time instead of a car. Yeah. When he's first getting his work feet up wet. to it. Yeah, like work up to it. By the end then of the again, movie, just, then introduce the Batmobile. I mean, but then again, they're, they're, they're going like for wild, a wild car. West where they introduce a giant. Or just have a regular car and be like, he doesn't have it yet. He's not there. I mean, this at least this Batmobile isn't going veg- vigilante eight. You know, <laughs> it's you're not getting like assault guns, weapons Volkswagen and Beetle. rockets yeah. and nukes. Yeah, the Beetle instead of those little little things. Whenever it's got little bat wings on it. <laughs> <laughs> over the over the lights, yeah. the headlights. Yeah. <laughs> There'd yeah, be little ears on the headlights. The <laughs> bat ears. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. Because well, it's un- rather yeah. unimpressive so far. But uh, yes, there's but only so much you can do CG wise. But the the, the suit did look. Pretty badass, I thought. I don't like the cow, but then I don't know if it was like cow's a little piece pointy. Thing. I think yeah. they're going with the pointy, but also, no matter how they go, if it's just the gun that killed his parents, I like that. Completely idea. metal and badass. I love that idea. Yeah, yeah. If it's batarangs, I'm okay with that too. Like Batman just has batarangs filling up his packs, and he's just like, yeah. If that's what it is. Just a peck full of batarangs. How's it sound when it does it? <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. It sounds like popcorn. <laughs> so what if it just popcorn came out? <laughs> Let's all go to the movies and get a bag around it in your neck. That's for when Batman does entertaining with children. Ah, yes. yes. He does parties, I heard. This yeah. is how he's building his budget for his next Batmobile. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the next one. He's got to afford those 50 cal and the lasers. Wow. So Next story is uh, Marvel's WandaVision wraps production with celebratory group photo of cast and crew. Yeah, Taylor uh, Gabowski posted the group photo via Twitter, and it's a mob of people. Just a mob of people, as you would expect. Yeah. WandaVision, I'm really interested to see where they go. Now, in the comics, Wanda was a mutant. Now, I think they're still kind of sticking with she was touched intimately by one Vision. of the, the reality stones. Well, and Vision, too. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Touched by many things. Wanda's yeah. Wanda's a uh, real life A and E story coming soon. Yeah. Um, but it's awkward. <laughs> I am the king of awkward. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. Is. Yeah. Um, but I'm really interested to see where they're going with this, especially with with the uh, teaser that we saw of it with uh, Wanda donning her classic comic mantle. Yeah. Really looking sitcommy, but I think that you could really hit home with this in a, a weird Marvel way, especially since this is supposed to lead up to the Multiverse of Madness. Yes. I'm interested because I'm not a huge I don't know a whole lot about her. Yeah. So that it's like kind of interesting, like, hey, let's play out her character a lot. Mm-hmm. She's kind of been a character that's predominantly in the movie her character is completely based on her relationship with Vision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it'll be kind they of... They really didn't show how powerful she was until she's, really she's endgame. She's so yeah. powerful. She's, she's the most she's, powerful yeah, she's one. The most, she's yeah, more she's powerful, powerful than Captain Marvel. Yeah. 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 And she doesn't you know. know. It doesn't do it justice, I don't think. In, Wanda in doesn't sense. know. Like Scotty? Yeah. <laughs> Just like Scotty. Just like Scotty. Are you going to sing that one for Please us? Don't. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, totally look at him laughing. <laughs> He's thinking about it, Cal. He is. The thought crossed in, my mind. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it in the boss voice, though. No. <laughs> Dude, my voice is way don't too do hoarse it. for that. I can't even try. You think Cyclops knew, though? You know? <laughs> Scotty. All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> Next story. Yeah. Uh, Netflix. This one I found really interesting. Yeah. Um, Netflix is used three times more than Disney+, Plus, according to a study released by the streaming recording tracking app but, called Real Good. But that makes sense. Real like Disney just launched their app like what, like six months ago? Like, and they, they why would you have training training with It's like imagining that somebody who just joined like the Olympic team and knew you up, up and up and yeah. young cunning guy, and then they, yeah. all right, like, who like am I practicing with today? I'm trying to do yeah. the Jamaican bobsled yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. Well, who am I practicing second. with today? Uh, Usain Bolt. Why? Why? Yeah. Not that. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, yeah, we we know. Like, but, but so so yeah, Netflix like, also had. Uh, a bunch of documentaries that dropped. So the Aaron Hernandez one, the Don't F with Cats one. Oh my God. All of these that documentaries are coming through great. Yeah, on great. Netflix that are not having a, you know, a life anywhere else because they're, yeah. they're cornering the market. It's really a battle. It's really cool to see. 
See, Netflix started Dis- it. Well, yeah, I know. But you see Disney come out, and they came out pretty strong. Everyone kind of switched right over to them, saw what was going on. Yeah, but it's like they were going for a Tyson. True. A Tyson move. I'm just going to knock you out I one would, punch. True. I would like to Mandalorian. see Mandalorian. <laughs> Who has both? How many How many households have both? Most. I mean, I know I do. Oh, yeah, I got, I do. I got Everyone both. here probably so. And, but, you know, but I mean, I it's just, one of those things. Like yeah. I said, it's a good battle, though, because you have them doing that. Then all of a sudden, you see Netflix coming out with another. Like Now, hands, Disney like just a acquired a lot of stuff. Yeah. They did. So they're lining up their toys, and, and, and I think they can catch up. Once yeah. they get the, the, the go-ahead to do some of them that they're not allowed to do because of laws, Contractual yeah. they're still exactly. getting Hulu set up. Exactly. Because so they're I think, 70% I think in time, it. it'll. I think in time, it will improve. But until then, Netflix is just going to keep pumping out things that they typically do. I think the more serious uh, shows that, that are keeping people. Involved. I mean, Netflix just burns cash on stuff. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah. Like, Umbrella like, Academy. But oh, the rate is. of return is also high, too. Because oh, yeah, it's the stuff insane. that they're investing in is actually paying dividends. And yeah. here's the reason why people keep going to Netflix is because they, ha- they handle their creators. Yeah. They let them create. They say, here's your money. Do the thing. Just Let like me know when cousin. you're done. Do the thing. I did. All thing I want to see Disney do is Matt, produce. Just like your cousin. Yeah, my cousin is an animator for um, what was the name of the show? I forget. Uh, it's an animated it's show that. It's um, classified. It is because we can't remember. Oh yeah, I asked him like, "Oh man, give me some dates." He was like, "I can't." NDA. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, fair enough, dude. Fair but enough. yeah, my cousin Carl, he is an animator on a Netflix series, and he he announced on Facebook that he has another job lined up for later on this year. So it's really good. He's getting some more work there. But once you get into Netflix, door, he, and he pretty much confirmed. Yeah. Just what everybody knows of Netflix is like, yeah, they pretty much it'll let you go, man. Yeah. It's like as long as you're not I mean, Manson, you're pretty good. <laughs> um, it's a pretty wide yeah. field. Keep yeah. it in the holes. Yeah. It's like they do put up some shit. Like Netflix has put up some shitty shows, but I think they, they, they also put quick. up some really good shows. And they cancel the, the shit sometimes. Ones, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they, yeah. They them. Mystery Science Theater got canceled. I was <sighs> I broke my heart. I know. I that, you know that you know that probably cost them like fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Dude, I was so happy one night, like like two o'clock in the morning, coming home from the bar, oh, yeah. drunk, and I was like, "The Sue Science Theater and some random junk food." Yeah, there pass out to that. that, that I love that show. Even growing up back in the day, it was back so. Back in awesome. Comedy Central, yeah. Comedy Central. And they're getting a lot of the stuff that you love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like the Avatar, the Last Airbender. They're getting a live action series there. Yeah. They're taking a lot of risk, anime wise, going yeah. live action, and they're also doing a lot anime wise. Yeah, but yeah, everybody's true. competing. It's They're them, really Amazon, yeah. and Hulu are just anime? bursting with anime. Hulu has just See, like I'm still for Funimation for it though. Yeah, but you know me, PC Master Race, I can find it for free. But if that's the way you want to do it, <laughs> it is a way to say do that it. here. <laughs> but it's definitely it. Once you get that anime hook you find that one show like right now netflix just popped up the second season of jojo's bizarre adventures okay the crimson sky i think that's what it's called uh story arc and it's an amazing anime it's ridiculous first season good it was good well jojo has like four or five story arcs out there right now but they only have the first two dubbed over on netflix but that's what, what they're trying to do they're trying to invest in more of that stuff the next story the Magicians canceled by Sci-Fi. Yes, man, which is five seasons. I heard a lot about that. Uh, I, I mean, I never show. watched the show, but I heard a lot about. I, I mean, in. I just saw a recent right there. article. I think, <laughs> I mean, you haven't like, gotten to that part yet. I zoomed where they were in, upset so about I it, wouldn't or, scroll or saying, down. This is happening, but everyone's gonna be upset about Magicians. And they am right here. Canceled. Yeah, but I think. No now I did hear, like you were saying, I did hear that the Magicians. A lot of fans are upset. Here's the thing. I've been listening to the books. I'm into the second book. And what comparing it show to book, they're both very different. But I think five seasons is perfect for that show. If you haven't had the pleasure, it's a brilliant walkthrough of just how real life magic could be. Mm. And it's fantastic. There's it's a little bit of a magical show. A little bit of God raping, but you get that over with quick, Jeez. giggity, and you just move on. Wow. And you drink silently Very and real. smoke a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> And then you move on. I do that anyway. So (laughs) (laughs) on to the next story. Noi two gets developer gameplay walkthrough. Yeah, Neo two. Which if you crawl, uh, just kind of click through the gameplay. What is he has Neo two? Okay. Uh, Nobody knows how to pronounce it. A lot of people I've seen online they just call it Neo. The samurai. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Samurai Dark Souls. Yes. Before it was cool. Yeah, I always called it (laughs) Nio. 
Samurai. Samurai. Yeah, Nio. Is People it thought Nio or Neo. I've heard it's. I've heard it pronounced either. Okay. But I heard it on stage. They said Neo too. I think during like the Game Awards or whenever they announced okay. it. So that's what I'm going. With. I'm going with Neo. Yeah. Somebody professional said it. If, they, if the developer trust says it that way. But trust me, if there's anything that is an Asian descent name. You do not want this guy reading it. I'm no, I'm he horrible. is so bad. Like, but he I adds, try. He adds yeah, numbers yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah, I would too. X Ching Four Seven is definitely a person. <laughs> uh, that says uh, Fang. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I may not be the best, but Dorado. Really, I'm. I'm really. Uh, I'm sad to see magicians go. Okay. Because it was a really good show, and um, but it's. I, Gonna be the perfect ending, I'm sure. Just like every show, hopefully. They How about that walkthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I was on that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, we story. are so organized all the time. Fimi Hoko Yasuda. <laughs> I'm sticking with it's it. It's probably <laughs> still a playing. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and try. That's an I'm H. Just- it's I'm glad H-I-K-O. that the camera is looking Pico. at me Fum- laughing at Well, you write like a doctor. Like, you, you just Fum- have a seizure while writing. <laughs> That's a sign of intelligence, sir. He's like, let me do a physical without the gloves. <laughs> but, <laughs> could I say two better me? <laughs> during this gameplay walkthrough. COVID-19, COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, during this gameplay walkthrough, Fumihi Kishido. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, I know. I watch <laughs> anime. He practiced. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a little head swivel, too, if... That's what needs. <laughs> My beard goes back and forth now. It's long enough. <laughs> um, but what I liked about this is that one of the producers for the game was walking through the gameplay demo, and he was telling people how to get past some of the stuff in there because it's like Dark Souls. It's very punishing. Dark Souls. Yes. And there's a lot of different Demos ways. The green yeah, and there's a lot of different ways that you could go about it. Later on in the demo, you see him going you just underneath. Post the yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> so. Um, I don't want to know where I poked. <laughs> I didn't even see it. That wasn't his belly. It, it wasn't his belly? Up. No, it wasn't his belly. Um, you anchored it all his ancestors. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's a great one because especially you can change your stance with how you attack in Neo. Okay. So that's the really cool part. And they're adding in kind of like a godlike element, so they're giving mm. you powers in this one. Okay. They added, uh, I saw in the gameplay demo, they have the, this guy wielded in the, the dual... Uh, Knives, okay, like butcher knives, and yeah. he can throw them, and they magically come back, like oh. Captain now, did America. Did you ever play Dark Souls? Yeah, for about five minutes. Okay, so yeah. I played for about seven hours, and never picked up again because I lost at that seven hours, and I said, "Fuck that." Yeah, I've never I played, played this for about one hundred and eighty hours. He's yeah. the punishment. Did, you, did yeah. you lose it? Big no, 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 I still have it. No, still Big Brother it. is the punishment yeah. one. You yeah. died in the worst it. spot. I just played for five hours, hours and smashed well, it in that wall. I will use the. The character in Dark Souls 3 like that the... has no stats attributes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will try to, be, you know, beat that. I came close. I'm this the close weird guy who runs a video game store and can't stand Dark Souls. That's I can't either. Uh, I, really I don't want to play for something for seven hours and lose all of it. Yeah. I can appreciate it, yeah. and I want oh, to no, like yeah, it. Oh, no, respect, yeah. respect. Yeah, and I want to respect. like it, but I've been yeah. in both of your spots with Dark Souls yeah. and other games like game it Souls, where Dark Souls, I'm so it. invested <laughs> in it, and I'm like, all right, next I'm going to get that one, I'm going to get that one, I'm going to get that skill, and then, oh, guess what? No legs! And you're like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Fall off a tiny little right. cliff, and then you're like, <laughs> they put your body like on the cliff, so you try to get your body and fall again. They're gone. <laughs> See ya. All right, start over, all over. If that's you fine. get the same equivalent amount of rage as you do with dark play, playing and dying a long time in Dark Souls like that as somebody cutting you off in traffic when you're late. <laughs> no, I, I, I would say Dark no, Souls is stepping even stepping on Legos. Legos. Stepping on Legos. Stepping Legos. Yeah, Ooh. maybe. Ooh, I have a bed made up. of Legos. Nice. Do you have a car bed too? Yeah. You have a CB radio. Beep, beep. Stuff all Speaking of Legos, yeah. So there's a new show. I know you're referencing. I know you're referencing. Lego Master on Fox is pretty cool. I I've it. heard about that one. I watched That's it the, the other day. The Lego building, is it a competition? Yes. It is a competition. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Big I'm going to have to check that one out. Next story, though, is yes. Quantum League is the most unique shooter. Play that beautiful bean Play footage. I will try to describe this as best I can. I saw it last night after a couple beers, <laughs> and I did not need that. that ad. Um, but essentially, imagine uh, 3v3, and, well, let's just get rid of everybody else on the team. It's just you. Okay. So, you have your first playthrough, boom, you die. Now, the second playthrough, it's, remember Ghost Mode and Forza? Yes. First person is you, 
going back to where you usually did. Now you, if you died, now you go back and try to kill the person that killed killed you before that. So it's like a time loop kind of thing, and it's like the best of like what does it say? Twenty four rounds. I'm just watching the demo 3D, right now. Three, three. It's like a game on crack. Yeah, yeah it's launcher. And it looked like a shotgun. Where can you download it? Yeah, they, uh, now yeah, you work. start off. It's on PC. Okay. Um, I think they have a demo out, or it's going to be released out. I did, like I said, I, I did see ads for it. I just, um, I haven't. It really, it looks interesting, and I saw this one on IGN, um, and it the the gameplay trailer it looks fun because now you have a different way all right he got me here i know i get that guy and i can get over here and you become like assassin's creed you go desynced you're not okay. necessarily dead yeah. so they're giving you the chance to save that man from being dead and then it's pretty much like capture the point you're going after the point in this trailer so now, we'll have to see if they add different you modes. save the man that died does that undo that enemy's kill Mm. Ooh, the conundrum of time travel. Wow. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, because then it would be a paradox. We've got a paradox. Yeah. Then the game just breaks, shuts down, and, and then <laughs> matches over. Your whole house you're, just disappears. disappears. Someone call up. Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> Someone call him. We need right. a doctor. Um, what we got? So that sounds wild. But it's really cool, man. And, yeah. you, you know, your three. I, I like how the ghost mode. Is you know you can really take advantage of it, and then the gameplay trailer you can see it on the check out the podcast sometime yeah. you'll see the footage. Okay, uh, you're on it. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're, you're <coughs> right now. This is live. Pe- oh my god, people yeah. in live. sixteen countries. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. probably more than that. <laughs> will listen to your voice. No, wow, all, all over the world. Recently Some of them we may had, be a robot, but we won't. I feel like there's going to be a lot of muting. Yeah, recently we <laughs> had Brazil. Uh, Brazil. See a lot of muting. Uh, the Russian Federation. Um, and then, uh, <laughs> well, oh yeah, uh, that wouldn't surprise me. Europe, Singapore, Taiwan, Japan, Libya. 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 Oh, they really love us in Libya and Pakistan, uh, Pakistan, Singapore. Okay. They love us in Singapore. Wow. And Brazil. 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 They're really hip. Yeah, there are a lot of wall jangers in Brazil. Yeah. That's awesome. A lot of wall jangers in Brazil. Next story, though, is Doom Eternal can do a thousand frames per second if you got the hardware for it. Yeah, man. Good luck with that. Doom and Beyond. Yeah. They're really sticking to that Eternal thing. I know. They're trying to make it so that, oh, yeah, that you know new rig you have 10 years from now, you can still play Eternal. It'll still look good. I mean, a thousand frames per second. I remember the podcast where we played the original trailer for Eternal and how awesome that game looked. Yeah. Like, the the, the trailer for that was, like, jaw-dropping. It was oh, so yeah. awesome. And the trailer lo- make- is up on the green screen. And they're making it look just so breathtaking, but also they're, look, they're going for smoothness. Yep. Which I think is really key for that Doom feel. Oh, you yeah. got to have smooth feel in that first person because, especially with how subtle. graphic their monsters yeah. are. Wait, that was one of the coolest verses we had that day. Where it was, uh, uh, who do we have? Who do we have against each other? It was from Doom. Oh yeah, Doom, Doom guy, guy versus, versus uh, Master uh, Chief. Master, Master Chief. Chief. I, know, I thought, and I also there was somebody it, else. It was. Uh, was it the Wolfenstein guy? No. No. DJ. Nah, we'll figure we it. We added somebody else in there, but yeah. Um, so, Doom, I'm really excited for that one coming March 20th this year. So, they did push it back a little bit, but that just goes to the smoothness. And Id games can get pushed back. Oh, yeah. They have Absolutely. I'll allow control. it for them because they, yeah, they, I don't, they put out quality stuff and when they yeah. have the time. Yeah, this is the most consistent. Who do you think we are, Bethesda? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyway, Diablo 4 confirms couch co-op improvements. Yes. Yeah, man. Cannibal enemies. Diablo, I, Cannibals I'm one of the. Diablo. I probably am one of the biggest Diablo fans there is. I have I still play three. I, I have a, I have a Paragon level th- over th- what three hundred now or two se- two seventy eight. Wow, it can go up to like fifteen hundred. I got into Paragon and I was just yeah, like, it takes, it this takes was like a good experience. Fucking six yeah. months I'm now to get to one Paragon else. more. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have a character that I play on the highest level, and Torment my cha- yes, and oh my, my God. and my chain. Lightning chain damage. Well, literally, I hit one person and it kills everyone on my screen in one hit. <laughs> it's not even fun for me. Like I had to create new stuff. I had to go different routes just so it would. What's it like be being a fun. god? It's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> everyone dies. Remember, boys and girls, this man is your father. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to your daughter's boyfriends. <laughs> um, and then he was never seen from again. 
And uh, so I'm I'm really excited for another Diablo. Especially with them possibly doing the uh, Netflix series. Netflix is yeah, I'm interested doing to see Diablo and Overwatch. I heard it's going to be anime style. Yeah, animated is go- is the way to do it, especially well, after Castlevania. Animated, like animated. Anime. Oh, yeah, anime like, animated. Yes, is yes. That, just like Castlevania. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. was so much success with the anime yes. Castlevania, and then this third season, I saw some article. So Overwatch is doing it, too? Yeah. I there can see that, it's, though. It hasn't like, gotten green light. Neither, neither one of them have gotten green light. I would, be, but, be in such yeah. a, uh, Diablo... I would definitely watch that. I mean, it almost would kind of remind me of uh, if they did, you know, like God of War, because it's yeah all hell related. But anyway, yeah. absolutely. Um, I would, I, I would, I. It could be interesting, or it could be really, really bad. That's what I'm kind of going with. Movie yeah. or TV series for God of War? I kind of feel I'm a TV gonna, series yeah. would be better. Yeah, TV series because they can actually dive into the Norse mythology if they want to yes. go that route. There's a lot of route God that War. they could do with that because they can they, they can, can start off with every, Greek. Yeah, well, I mean, God, so. it's almost like Game of Thrones in some yeah. ways. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Yeah. Just, the first three is like all about him unseating people. Yeah. I mean, also so. we've beaten the hell out of. Greek mythology. We've, we're now killing Norse well, mythology. We're, we're, there's a show. Well, You're yeah. gonna do Japanese or so, you know yeah. Egyptian just mythology. We're we gonna do all that. Kratos just does that. He just beats and kills everything. <laughs> every living, Boy. every god. Another good verse we have. Every yeah. godly being. Yeah. Uh, next story is PlayStation leaks mysterious Star Wars project Maverick Games. This one's hot today. Now I Ooh, say. Maverick and what pops in your Project head? Maverick. Probably Han Solo. Maverick, okay. Top Gun. Oh, well, I, yes. Yeah. Yep. So Project Maverick. Hmm. Project Maverick. Now we did report in a previous podcast <laughs> that there was a small, unusual game that was being built as a Star Wars game as well. Mm-hmm. Possibly this Project Maverick. I'm saying. We're getting some kind of a TIE Fighter game. Like Rogue Squadron esque. Oh, some okay. kind of a squadron fighter. Yeah. You put the title Maverick, just like the working uh, title for um, Far From Home and uh, Homecoming was uh, Summer George and Winter George. <laughs> yeah. And th- it, it was the third like, movie yeah. has another one, which I mean, I could see Rogue is squadron another Seinfeld ism. Yeah. So there's those kind of now Maverick. Mm, I think you're being cheeky. I think you're kind of tipping your hat. Maverick, can't wait to see that. Maybe yeah, that's maybe, exactly why I would see that. Movie. That remake's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome as well. But that's where I kind of see the tie in here because with Star Wars, that everybody loved the Tie be, Fighter combat in Battlefront Two. Yes, and which that game is actually quite, quite uh, uh, well right now. Yeah. Or but maybe it well. it's a remastered Shadows of the Empire. I can hope. I can hope. You remember that? Yes. It was N64 if you're do, beauty. If you're going to do Kyle, oh, wow. do Kyle Katrin, then it's going to be like his entire, Jedi Academy. I would love to see remakes son. of those. Oh, that would yeah. actually fit Maverick. Oh, Eric Seavey. He gave me a question. He was like, name your favorite Sith. And I said, the Tyrannosaurus from Jedi Academy. He was Sith? Boom. What's more badass than a Tyrannosaurus set? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Star Wars and nerding out on a nerd podcast. That's like saying your favorite Bond character is Odd Job. I hate that person. <laughs> because you don't, you, you couldn't shoot him in the night. Like, if you played. Night. Double, if you play Goldeneye and you were Odd Job, you're a fucking asshole. Uh, yeah. That's one of his sensitive nerves. You hit yeah. Odd Job, oh, and well. it's just it brings back the PTSD, painful memories yeah. of when he lost to Odd Job. That's why I never played with guns. I'd only play with proximity mines and slappers. <laughs> yes. That's the test of real. I had I had real a gaming few, skill. I had a few. Uh, we had we had the, we had the makeshift rule. Oh, no gun, so you can't shoot him. <laughs> I went to a few, oh yeah, yeah 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 I went to a few slip up a competitions yeah so would I in uh, Jersey there was a few of them that I went to I never won but I got pretty close but a lot of times we we usually did license to kill or golden gun mm. of course both, Next both were great nobody, needs, nobody was allowed to be odd job that was a rule are they <laughs> they finished that remake for Golden Eye didn't it's, it's on PC, PC. Odd job. yeah it's on PC I figured it was uh, next story is Sony patents 
hits. I like that. A patent hits that PS5 controller will detect sweat, heart rate, and more. Yeah, I heard of that. Who cares? Well, well, you're having a heart like attack. A I know. Is it, is it, here, here's the I thing. just died six times in. I don't in, care. I just want to beat this level. I've worked around video games enough to know uh -huh. whenever Sony promises something, it's like, hey, guess what? If it doesn't make them like fifty billion dollars in like a year, they yeah. don't care. So this stuff coming out, it's not like they have the, the touch screens on the PS4s. They don't use. So if it's not like readily available that it's going to be integrated in their games, I guarantee, I'll say this right now, put me on record, three games will use this technology and there'll be AAA titles and the rest won't matter. They will stop using it after the very first year. Yep. You won't see it. You'll see yeah. that in the Last of Us 2 Game of the Year edition. Yeah, okay, cool. Your heart, your heart rate's up. The, the zombie things can detect or, you. because they paid enough money for the market. Or Skyrim. Right. They made Skyrim them does do everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Skyrim, Skyrim, Skyrim really is it. Yeah, PS5 edition with the heart rate monitor as like a way to defeat an enemy or dragon. Yeah. It's now or, or when you get hit by a giant. What if you got a pacemaker that throws the whole controller off? <laughs> uh, okay, Sony, I have an issue... I yeah. can't get past this level because my heart rate is going to walk go off taking out electrodes and be like... <laughs> yeah, like, what? Why is that People even are going to buy the stim pads, at, like, like the muscles pads, yeah, <laughs> just to put it on the controller. That's literally right. Sony get going, that hey, fitness games, do you want to license to us? Because we'll definitely take your money and you can use our controller to do it. And, you know, you'll get like 50 fitness game studios that cost them a dollar to make the game. They put it out. They make fifty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand yeah, dollars. The licensing caps is that's three. All. Yeah, yeah and, that is. and Sony made money, yeah. and then they close it off after a year. Well, and here's the thing. Remember the ring, <coughs> not the movie, the Nintendo ring. Yeah. yeah. That they were like, oh, it's gonna be fitness. Nobody bought that. You know what's weird though? <laughs> I get calls. Really? Don't ask. Nintendo crowd. They're the ones that are just. Well, they're the I ones need that this. would do that though. But like Sony, what about, you tried what about the, the grandmother that did that? You know, played Wii Fit consistently. For five years straight, it's actually she broke a record. I wonder if it's that same grandmother from your mo your mom's house. Right, probably okay. not that. Probably not that mom's. Probably not that. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, that was a, a, a well. Did she lose weight? She was consistent. Okay. Well, that's she, not what I. That's not what I asked. I, I just know that she broke a record. That's all. Oh, all right. Well, for, props for, to her. For games that are broken records for playing a game a long Sony time. Sony breaks records with the original not supporting stuff. So not not that's like saying he's a company do. man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a company man. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah, it's... it's uh, I don't know. That's, that's how I feel. Yeah. I mean, they're going to add this little technology in there that you they think you want, and they don't know. No, I really don't think... As far as... I mean, yeah, you'll get graphics, but you don't really know where that next leap is going to be. They're not even talking is about it, supporting VR, so why... This, exactly. This other technology stuff just... Shooting guns off screen. Oh, he was doing it for Pow, pow, pew, pew, pew. He was well, well, like this for about Watch minutes. where you're aiming that thing there, cowboy. We uh, we participate gun safety around here. We want to have another plasma rifle story. incident? Wait till my daughter has her first date. <laughs> <laughs> if you like to see so, bad boys too? Absolutely. Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. Now, uh, in uh, a podcast, well, a YouTube video you're going to see in the future, probably not Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, it, we did a new series we're calling Perjanger Theater. And we'll okay. have to like do it here one time. Oh, I'd love that. Let's um, do it. We did the Final Fantasy VII demo that came out last week. Excellent. We I commented agree. over the whole thing, Mystery Science Theater 3000 style, and it's going to be coming out. But one thing that old man said had to happen is now being proven wrong in this story. So I got to... Oh, hang on. What does that say? Douche. <laughs> <laughs> what what is it? What is it? What is it? So, I'm, I'm missing it. Red thirteen is not, I heard what? not gonna be playable. But I just oh, read an it. article that said that may change. Maybe I'm like episode I think if they two. listen to the, yeah. the, so but to here's the fans what they about said. that they would change that. Yeah. Here's what they said. Because you're pretty much getting your whole core team together in yeah. the first one. He comes in at the end. Okay. Kind of seemed like, you know, right, 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 right. trying to put another pizza you know that in the option box. In yeah. the original Final Fantasy, where you get to pick who's yeah. in your group, they probably just take that option away. Yes. And then, you know, everybody's escaping. Right. During then, certain stories, they probably have like. He will help people. out, they say in the article. He will help out players, but he's not going to be yeah. playable. Listen, I already talked to, to you about this. The only thing that I'm really upset about, I'm not upset about because I don't know yet, but the old style fighting was really. Traditional to me, like I, I, I love the classic. The you classic. can see it in the demo. I know it has classic mode. When you I pick. know, but but what I'm saying is with that game specifically is how they're going to work in the summons. 
because summoning Bahamut Zero or Bahamut Neo Bahamut or, or Odin when fucking came out with the did they have? The did they have? Did they have any summons in the, Knights of the round. demo? Knights yeah, the round. No, not the demo. No. The get, the, demo. get the rose first, so you can breathe but underwater. In, like the yeah. E three, they, they the show rolling. you like Ifrit and she, the, the, uh, the Leviathan. So I'm yeah. saying yeah. though, is like, how are they going to work that in? Because that was part of that was like a very good strategy that you had to do certain ones. Well, check out the video. Times. It's it's almost like Vats to where uh, not like Vats, but it kind of slows down time, so you can kind of pick. All right, here's my spell ability. Here's my yeah. summon. So it doesn't. Pause it. Have you it just 15? slows it down. I have. Okay. So I heard it's like fifteen. Yes. So it's I mean, a hybrid of fifteen in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, and, and it's actually maybe a little bit of uh, uh, just maybe a little Diablo. Kind he of. enjoyed it. So I really, I'm really giving this one a good chance. I love Final Fantasy fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen was amazing. I need. I still need to I go got, through. I got thoroughly thunderfucked by that boss. Yeah. <laughs> My God. It, That's why I haven't beat it. I need to go I, back I, I, and so beat it. One serious concern. It's taken 15 years to get to episode one. Let's hope it doesn't take another 15 years to get to episode two. You know what I'm saying, yeah. guys? <laughs> yeah. Swear. You're listening. I know you are. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't do not do it. Don't don't take two years to get episode two out. Yeah. Because people will burn burn your offices yeah. down. Yep. Yeah. Well, when they burn your office down, yeah. this is a perfect segue to the next story, which is the gaming bed you will never leave. Did you see that? <laughs> It has the desk in front. You have a bed. It yeah. has the tower. Yeah. There it is, right there. And it has like a and it has virginity the... attached to it. So, yeah, no, it actually <laughs> it actually has an ejector seat so that if a woman gets on top of you, she <laughs> shoots out your window. Yeah, just gets it right off. <laughs> because boom. Yeah, that, no, yeah. No, you have to be I a saw nerd it. Friend. I saw it and I said, "We're ready to transmit." Yeah, I, was like, I don't know if we're evolving or devolving. When I saw that thing. Happened. Yeah, like I don't know, man. That's I see that more as a Japanese thing because they it's have time. very small college dorm, yeah. college dorm, very yeah. small area. Tentacle. <laughs> Do they have? Ten- I did not see tentacles in there. That that, that must be a different option. It's if, under the colors. You, you look on that. You would get they that have in a the minute. They have, they have that on Amazon. Yeah. Amazon can one day to me. That's fine. <laughs> You don't want to because apparently people are being tested positive for coronavirus from Amazon. So they can sit on packaging for at least. Well, let me they released that at a good time. Let me cancel the orders. Let me just cancel that. I'm going to cancel the orders. Cheetos and Are they coming from China? Tested. Great. Well, before the coronavirus outbreak, it, I did uh, get some stuff from China. So hopefully, no, we'll right that was well, well before that. We we're talking about the coronavirus. How we may have it. He's like, I'm out. <laughs> Next story. So, the next story, this one was rather, rather unfortunate. So, the story, you're going to have to read through here, but this woman got sentenced. What? Yeah, this woman, this woman got sentenced to 116 years in prison. Former pro counter-strike player sentenced to 116 years in prison? Yeah. Why? Oh yeah, this one's a doozy Tenet too, man. Uh, Merchandise from Counter Strike. She would sh- sell her merch because she was a Twitch streamer with like what fifty thousand, eighty-seven thousand on Instagram, thirty thousand on Twitch. <coughs> so she was a Twitch streamer. So she had merch. She would send merch out. Oppos- well, supposedly she wasn't sending merch out, okay. and they just went with a default, I guess, with all the accounts that went against her. One hundred and sixteen years. She kept, she still has the chance to appeal the sentencing. I would. Yes. Yeah. So it says here, because Brazilian laws, though, Victoria That's is, right, it's will Brazil. have a chance to appeal her sentence, and as such has not been arrested or placed in police custody. She has taken Instagram, Instagram to clarify the situation to her fan base. She is not a fugitive or in hiding. She does regular broadcasts on CSGO community as well. Test her People are still in S- into that though. CSGO? CSGO? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Still, PS2 is very. Popular. Oh my god. Still. S- oh. CS uh, and CSGO is still. Yeah. So one thing that I would say is probably make sure that you sell your merchandise and you send it to the pr- people that you sell it to. You know, that's that's probably a good way yeah, to sell it. Mail fraud's kind of a anywhere. Good thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. anytime you use a government system, yeah. But I can yeah. see that as just yeah, one person, federal. you know, a person, a streamer, just not thinking, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll send that, and then it's slipping their mind. And they've got 70,000 people, that, or at least 
you know. You're going to say at least a third of those are going to want something. You know, some of them are at least grabbing a t-shirt. That was your final story. Yeah. So, four of verses. Um, Ooh, we got a verses today. What is that? Oh, I can't remember. Well, I was going to... You kind of go around. I am. Drink a monster before. No, you did no. I, I, I was not excited. I had a meeting today in yeah. almost in New York, so I did a lot of driving. Mm. So I'm like trying to get my energy. Up. He's all hopped up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Just, just driving is just do it. all day. It gets me so tired, but now I'm not. So it's like crazy. Okay. So what's a verse? I love the verses. Verses is when we pin up something of uh, against something else, like his one that we did before. Who is the ultimate badass? Uh, Doom guy versus Master Chief. Mm. And um, you know what? Let's go with this one. Ultimate Force Wielder. Ultimate Force Wielder. Revan. Revan. I'm going to just go full game. You know, if you know comic, full comic game line. I'm going with Starkiller. Force Unleashed. He was the first truly badass Jedi. You played that game. You felt like a Billy Badass. You, you, you really ripped did. that door you know that off its hinges it and place. threw it at the Stormtrooper. <laughs> you picked the Stormtrooper up, and he would cling to stuff. Yeah. The physics on it were just amazing for a Star Wars yeah. game. Holy and it had a great story to boot. He had a great revival with the clone. Uh, spoiler alert. And... <laughs> He You've dies, but he comes back. Season. Don't worry. There's a lot of that in Star Wars. They yeah, come back. Especially in that series, yeah. And, I mean, that's where I'm kind of thinking. You could also add a lot of people in there. Yoda. That's yeah. what I, I'm going with Yoda. You're going Yoda? You're going Yoda. Yeah, Yoda versus Revan? That would be awesome. Yoda versus Revan would be badass, but I also want to see Darth Plagueis, which we may see in the High Republic that they're going to be doing. I they're heard. releasing the books in August, but... Man, this next phase with Star Wars, I really got good feeling. It's a really going tough battle. It. Yoda versus Revan. Because Revan's like Revan is a he is a he's amazing. Because Revan he did he pull no, he didn't pull a Star Destroyer down. No, but he was a, he was hmm. actually a Grey Walker before there was a legitimate Grey Walker because he went from light and dark. I didn't know we were going to Game of Thrones. Oh I'm sorry, that's a White Walker. Uh Bum, yeah, that's bum, like that's bum, tough, bum. man. How do you do that? I feel like it's <laughs> force it's guys like, are like kind of like Ray in in the. She the is a, she's a a force. I mean, she's a great walker. She she just doesn't realize it. Yeah, but she also did things that the other ones didn't. Like she held that blaster bolt. I mean, not saying Vader couldn't, but he de- he hasn't. She held a blaster bolt, so I would put her in the realm of a f- powerful force wielding Jedi as well. Yeah, still going Yoda. Love him. I love Yoda. Everything about Yoda. I'm. I'm honestly, I want to see it's a younger a Yoda. Well, Mandalorian baby, we will have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just made it even better. Seeing him as a baby. I'd just be happy knowing Yoda. what the fucking species is named, or just more of them in the goddamn thing. There's only ever it's one. A Yoda. Yeah, well, Yoda was his name. It's a it's a yaddle, right? Isn't it? A yaddle was yaddle was the other one. Yeah, his chick girlfriend. right? His chick girlfriend. So I mean, they never piece. gave it the species a name. I yeah. mean. But still, give me some more than it's like a frog. what? There's only three. It it's, it's, a it's a frog. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's, it's just a frog. It's like that on purpose. Space George, frog. Yeah, George Lucas never uh, put a name on it. I don't, man. I don't know force wielders. That's crazy, man. So that's the. So that's any, the worst any kind of force ty- types of like hypothetical battles. Is it's like there's, it's not like drastically two different powers. It's like drastically very similar powers, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. you have different. Well, Imagine it, like how people like so you, you said Star Killer right because he's yeah. wildly powerful off the bat right so like his his visual stuff is way mm-hmm. more because that's what the game was trying to introduce yeah but like Revan wasn't introduced like that but if Revan was very what true. the hell was he doing because he'd be throwing whole star fleets well Cal Callus of the uh, Jedi Fallen Order yeah he's kind of a pussy Jedi I gotta uh, say there's a couple of guys yeah. push pull you know yeah. I'm gonna stop that he's like the Hancock of superheroes yeah, yeah. it's. I he wasn't it. really impressive I said it Will Smith so, so, you know, you know Matt, I get to tell he you something he was the lame duck now that we're done and now we're that, wrapping up there's no sound he's Again. just realizing this now so we're just gonna go mm. and then no one will know that's where yeah. 
This yeah, that's oh, me. that's on. Oh, it yeah, is yeah. not a taser. And I'm sorry, folks, but you're going to have to go to the YouTube. Did you fix the sound? I thought I did because it was preset, but then OBS crashed. And then you didn't. Sorry, we still. Uh, did I kick it? Did, I yeah. it? No, no, did anyone no. comment no. saying there was no That sound? little thing was no, yellow, and I probably should have looked at it, but whatever. That's why we have the portable podcast. 45 yeah. minutes to sell. No so, so now the YouTube video is going to. Be I am going to roll into my final closing procedure. Absolutely, One man. Way. We're wrapping up now because right, uh, this is an indetermined yes. versus. Evelyn, you want to hop in? Yes. Yeah, go ahead in there. Right. She's one of the partners from the. Yeah. Awesome. You can walk around. Yeah. Oh, from this. Delco Mania. Delco Mania. Right. Lots of partners, and uh, we're still live, and it'll yes. be on our YouTube and on our face or on our website as well. Really excited to be coming to Delco Mania and everything that you guys have going on there. Um, so, what are some of the stuff that you're working with for the Delco Mania project? So, so uh, besides the wrestlers, we've got live bands. Okay. Um, I just got we just got uh, Extra Life the for kids. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the uh, the charity, yeah, yeah. Um, that's great. I just made him a badass uh, flyer. Nice. So we're gonna think about uh, auctioning that off and like have all the donations donated to Extra Life. That's cool. Um, who else? Oh, one of my friends, Christy Whiskey, might show up there. She's got a ton of followers. Nice. Um, just a lot of fun artists and comic book artists. Excellent. Yeah. Just the, that's the kind of stuff that you want to see there in the vibe, we are, the artists we will and everything. Be at your disposal, so like anything that's that awesome. we can do. Yeah. Yeah. And we will have sound. <laughs> <laughs> we will have sound. Now we what, so sometimes the sound just cuts out. We have this portable one that we okay. use as a backup. So. I thought it was a twi- taser. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a taser. <laughs> Can't be too sure, you know. Don't get too close to us. Yeah. Or, yeah. The last time the three of us were out together, we were at a bar and we had like all our jackets and stuff, and I put the podcaster down because it was too loud to do a podcast. And the staff just kind of put moved it over to the side, and they were talking like they thought it was a taser. <laughs> so <laughs> that is the running joke. Yeah, now it is our taser. So I'm really excited to be, uh, to go. I mean, obviously, um, he's got some guys that are you know chomping at the bit to go to the wrestling, and yeah, I got some I got some people that want to go too. Him and my buddy Teddy are probably two of the biggest wrestling fans that I know. Yep. Okay. So I mean, those are the pure, perfect people here. I'm just here for the con. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have another podcast coming too. A couple of them. One of them is like a, a fan wrestling type uh, podcast. Okay. So I think it's they're called Balls. All Falls Count Everywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, Falls Count Anywhere. Yes. Falls Count Anywhere. They're okay. Nice. Put them into the uh, yeah. Dagger balloon. Adding words. Yeah. They, um, we extend <laughs> everything out. We are a media network. To be part of the uh, an affiliate of the network. They're more entitled to. Absolutely. The more the merrier. We already have the uh, the Black Opinionated podcast with my friend Matthew Kennedy, and he does the same kind of service. So he'll go out to you, do the podcast, and he'll produce it, put it out on multiple streaming platforms and websites yep. and everything. So we like to help out people like that and get the word out there and get their name out there as well, because awesome. it's collectively with podcast, everybody kind of works together with and helps each other. There's, out. there's enough. There's enough to go around. Yeah. You know. It, it's not really about money. We just do it for the love of the medium. Right? Yeah. Ideally, that is the ultimate goal. It's, it's you know to make what we love as a hobby to to have fun and and to ultimately be paid from it. But Mark's going through his obstacle course. Yes, yeah. I am. His super secret lair. <laughs> <laughs> super secret lair. So I'm really excited for April 18th. We're all going to be there, and we'll have to have everybody on because it's going to be a long day. So we're going to have to talk to somebody. (laughs) We'll have everything ironed out on our website and on the Facebook to let you guys all know. But April 18th, mark it in your calendars. It's on a Saturday, so we want to see you guys all out there. Bell time is 7 p.m., and uh, doors open at 10. So it's going to be a great time. Mark's putting a lot of work into this. We all are. Yeah, for sure. Got the yeah, team clamoring together. To give to Mark. It's uh, much appreciated because he's been very well. We all do. We all appreciate it. We're all working <laughs> stupid yeah. hard on all and of We appreciate this. you guys yeah. for always letting us come here. No, we love having you. We love being part of the process and getting everything out there. We so can't wait to see you there. It's Absolutely. Amazing. So this has been crazy. a great podcast. Obviously, uh, 
for Jenkins wall hangers. We'll see you now on the 19th, on the 18th, rather. Not the 19th. That would be a day too late. What's the date for Cirque du Sunday, by the way? <laughs> the, the, the 19th. I'll die that weekend, probably. <laughs> uh, so there you it's, go. it's a back-to-back day. So yeah. your funeral will be two days after or three days after? Probably. You go on, like, the 23rd? Monday, you won't okay. hear from me. And don't, don't bother calling. Okay. <laughs> I won't so. just going down State Street in a Viking funeral? I'll be wrapped up in my <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So get your flowers ready. And the bagpipes. <laughs> yeah. Who has the bow with the fire? We yeah. gotta, we gotta light him on fire, right? If Mark is irritated <laughs> Sunday, you know why? He just worked a twenty-hour shift the day before. So Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Yep. We'll be there. Yeah. So we thank you guys always for having us. Thank As you. always, this Thanks is a long time. drawn out goodbye. I am uh, Matthew Bugrell, the Matt Man for the Triforce Podcast. We have Kelly Collins, Mr. Twitchy Wilson. Behind the con, Mr. Christopher Bristow, the old man, and minding the camera, saying taco is big brother Stephen Bucro. <laughs> <laughs> taco. <laughs> so Here we will see you guys this. probably next week for another Lug Nuts on Sunday and Triforce on Monday. We'll uh, get together again for uh, at the Game DVD Exchange, of course. Awesome. Huh? We're going to keep coming back until they kick us out. And, uh, yeah, long drawn out goodbyes aside. Game on, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. I am confused. I don't know where I am. I thought I was in my living room, and now I'm all of a sudden I'm in a store. There are a lot of wall jangers in Brazil. Yeah. Just a peck full of batarangs. I'm touched by many things. Wanda's yeah. a real-life A&E story coming soon. But you get that over with quick, giggity, and you just move on. Wow. And you drink silently and smoke real. a lot of cigarettes. Samurai. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Samurai Dark Souls. Yes. Before yep. it was cool. Who do you think we are, Bethesda? End up killing a whole Boy Scout troop. <laughs> Pizza. Oh, hi. Pizza. Cool shit. Dan's gonna do it. Dan, you wanna do it? What? Plug the, du- the Comic Con? Ah! Good, Mark. You're good. <laughs> Mark, what's We're set. Morning? You're all, you got you're it. Everything's good. And you have more energy than I We're recording and, and we're streaming. Mark. I just haven't hit your live yet. Oh, so, Mark, when yeah, you want to do your uh, interview? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is a way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll put a cautionary thing, running a store at the same time. Is that Yeah, we'll sit like this and we interview like this. Oh, yeah, I like that. Sit there. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Damn, this is Man. like a, this this is is like a real show. Oh, no, we're going to end it. We're going to end it. Whew. Awesome. All right. My name's Evelyn, by the way. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi, gang. This is Per Jangers of Wall Hangers, Matt Man here. As a uh, promotion here to our <coughs> lovely host, let me move the portable podcast. This is not a taser. This is not a taser. It is not a toy either, young man. Sit down in the back. So, Professor Matman here has this nice little demo that I'm going to say because the gracious hosts we have uh, here at the Game and DVD Exchange are hosting a Comic-Con here in Delco. Delco Mania 2. It's 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. April 18th, 2020. They have the ACPW Pro Wrestling, 7 p.m. bell time. (coughs) They'll also have cosplay, musical performance, and featured matches. (laughs) 